Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we're here with Penny, and we're here to watch the next episode of Moon Knight. Wow, last week's episode was very entertaining. I have a lot of questions, as usual, and I am really looking forward to seeing some more everything. Like, there's multiple things going on that I just am so curious about, and unless it's playing out exactly like a comic book, None of us know what direction they're going. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like it's just everywhere. Ah, can't even have, I couldn't, can't even put it into words. It's just very entertaining. So I'm ready to watch it. Penny's ready to watch it. Probably not. She'll probably just be napping on my lap. That's okay. So anyways, uh, I'm a little disoriented because I accidentally hit stream instead of record on my recording equipment. So anyways, back to the video. Moon Knight, episode four. Five Asylum. Let's see what's going on up in that noggin of Mark and Steven. That's all your fault. Oh my gosh! Think you could tell me about that little boy? Oh, it's stressing me out. I forgot to breathe for a second. He's trying to stab his own eye. Always so intense for him. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that makes two of That's the gal from the oh, the gosh. meeting. This will really bake your noodle, but I think you were just taking a little time out. I'm dead. We're dead. Yes. Yes, Mark. I think she's right. I think so I'm they're in the in between then. We die. Welcome, gentle traveler, uh, travelers, to the realm. Of the Jew. This is Jew. Poetic, goddess uh -huh. of women and children, and she's guiding us through our journey to the afterlife. Wow. Right. So this... Why would we imagine this realm to be a psychiatric hospital? Because we're insane. Wow. We're insane. Talking hip hop. You go through here, there's gonna Mark. be a bunch of patients, and there's Crawley probably about to yell, Bingo! Oh my god! Whoa, that's cool. Worrying I'd blow your chest wide open. Oh my Sorry. gosh. No one balanced souls on my boat. Them's the rules. Fingers crossed for you guys. Oh hey. my goodness. Get in there and show each other the truth. Balance your scales before we arrive at the field of reeds, or your souls will be destroyed. Yeah, oh my right. gosh. How are we supposed to do this? Oi, what's this? What are we gonna do here? We're we gonna like revisit every single memory I've ever had? Uh oh. Something about a boy. Did he drunk drive and kill a boy? Do you remember this? Uh, creepy calf filled with dead bodies. That's all it is. No prizes. Are these all people Mark has killed? You killed all of them? They were criminals, murderers, predators, the worst wow. of the worst. See how quickly you forget. That's hard. Who's that? Oh, did he act? Oh, did he kill? Uh -huh. Is that a child of one of the Why, people is he there killed? A child? In a room. Is that them as a child? Come on, no way to see the Mom? Who's ready? Who's oh, hungry? Ben. Mark, be nice to your little brother. That's his brother? Oh no. We'll eat later. Keep an eye on your brother, okay? Later, skaters. Oh no. no. His brother. Wait, wait. Is okay, his brother's okay. name Steven? Okay. That's a lot of water, dang. Don't go any further! No. The water's rising way too far! Can you hear me? Oh, oh his name's Randall. What are you doing here? You were supposed to keep him safe? Stephen, let's go. Jealous of him. <laughs> Ever since he was born, I sh should have known he would do something like this. Wow, years later. How long are we now? 
The night of the archaeological dig site? Doctor and Foley, they love that. Wow. Yowza, man. Konshu! Do something! I am the god Konshu, in search of a warrior. To bind your very being to me and eradicate only the worst. Do you want death? Or do you want life? Life! Life! I don't know. He was, he was taking advantage of you. Or it was just a way for me to keep being what I've always been. Scales. Have we done it? Have we balanced them? As my moon knight. Yeah, don't fall overboard. <laughs> That's so cool, the visuals in this. Right, right now, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. What is he hiding? What okay. is he worried about? I'm just begging you. Don't make us go there again. It'll be all your fault. No, 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 you can't. Is Steven in there? Steven. To hide. Can you open up to Steven? It's not mom. It's not my mom. It's not my mom. Mark, open this door. Open this door right now. It's not my mom. This is sad, man. Look at the state of this place. Better throw it out before mom sees it. And danger is near. Stephen Grant has no fear. Aww. So Stephen, you're not Maybe real. Open the door right now! Why do I have to make him do this? Let me see what she did. Let me see what she did. Disgusting. You're not meant to see that. You're not meant to see that. That's the whole point of you. Well, you want to remember the truth? That you had a mother that beat you? That hated you? That, that made your life a living hell? <sighs> oh, oh God, I'm so sorry. So, oh my gosh. Stephen. Hold on a minute. What's this? It's good to see you. Oh, he's dressing me out. Is this some kind of test? Is any Tash there? Tash. Sorry, Ned Flanders. Stephen. <laughs> you having a laugh as well? Because I don't no, want to hear it. Stephen, I must you be say mistaken. that again. My mother is alive. You I, say that again. I will I, I, freak out. I promise. I must be mistaken. Okay. Would you would you like oh. to speak with her? He'd like to speak with you. Oh my gosh. Would you like this to speak is to him? just. Oh. He probably feels like he killed two people. What? Where am I? Hey, uh, Mum. Hey, you all right? Yeah, um... <laughs> would you believe it? I am totally lost again. So who is he calling? Well, is he just leaving it. voicemails? No, I know it or is he not street. talking to anything? Um, He's just creating this conversation in his head this whole time. Uh, oh, snap. She's not going to help. Help him, Stephen. Nice. Stephen, Stephen. You did it! Nice. Will they balance together now? No! Sad. 
här. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was a really emotionally heavy episode. I don't, that's how I feel about it. It was really good, but really emotionally heavy. Not a lot of comedy to balance it out. Just like mind bend after mind bend and like digging into this person's trauma. I don't know about you guys, but that was hard. It's a good reminder for people to realize that there are people living in our world who experience things like this that have and see a different reality. And they're constantly fighting like we were seeing Mark and Steven when they're talking to Harrow and trying to distinguish what is reality and what's not. And you have one person that seems very calm and collected explaining to you the reality and trying to bring balance and peace to you. But this other point that is the truth in their circumstance and you're constantly trying to convince yourself is this where i'm supposed to believe and focus on or is this the place that i've always i've always known right it's so it's just keep that in mind um people who like people with schizophrenia people who see it and experience a different reality uh, how much of a challenge it is find that balance. Even when we are watching this and it, it makes you question, we know obviously <laughs> that uh, this was all like him being dead and all that and experiencing all that was the reality. It's just, it's a thing like, what is reality? Is it what we're comprehending in our mind? What brings us peace and understanding? Is it, it's where, is it where everyone connects to experience the same reality together? It's hard. It's a kind of a interesting, question to think about but that's what this episode kind of got me thinking about because it's obviously exploring that very strongly for mark who we know and saw created steven to protect himself against his mom after the death of his brother and her blaming him that's a very hard thing to go through and i'm sure a very real thing that people experience and it's we always hear about mourning the death of a child it's the hardest loss people can ever go through and then for the child to grow up it always feel like you're living in the shadow of that death when you feel like you were especially when he felt like he was to blame and then you're being constantly reinforced that idea from your mom that's very difficult so very interesting for them to explore that um sensitive topic and i ultimately Kudos to Oscar Isaac, man, for that phenomenal acting, kind of dealing with a really difficult topic. And, and I feel like succeeding in showing the emotional and the complexity of facing, again, reality or facing the truth of our memories of our past traumas and that showing that it brought him to brought him to balance brought him to whole again thus by Stephen falling off the boat and essentially finally being gone um made mark whole because they are the same person obviously it's sad to have Stephen be gone but i'm curious how the show will kind of depict that if they are the same person Will he still bring it out in moments? He clearly knows this information. It's still in his memory. He'll be able to harness it there together as one now. There's a lot of lessons he learned from Stephen. Um, his soul, his own soul is in balance now. So yeah, how will he escape the field of reeds? How will he return up to the surface or earth or reality with Layla? free Khonshu to defeat Harrow and did they release Amit? There's still those questions. We kind of explored this episode in dealing with the Mark Steven dynamic. And so it'll be interesting to see where they go from now with, from what I would imagine Steven being out of the picture or whatever. We'll probably see maybe a more well-rounded Mark after going through that. It's like he, oh, he had to go through another traumatic episode to deal with his other traumas which is just overall this episode was really good even though it was heavy <laughs> um and there was a lot of beautiful s scenery like the visuals they did in this was beautiful i loved the the hippopotamus lady Cowit, or i can't say her name well but and just on all fronts it was just yeah i kind of said all i had to say about it it was just really intense and deep but a, a good good overall good overall 
Um, so yeah, it'll definitely have me thinking for a bit. My heart is a bit um, soft and fragile now after that. I'm, I'm sure some of you guys may have experienced that too. So anywho, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review reaction. Um, I'm hoping the next couple of episodes will not be as intense. I, I don't imagine them so. I think we explore the root of this. Um, and if you want to show support, go ahead and upvote this video. And if, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified when the next episodes will be live. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.